Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you how to change your brake fluid in your car, in my case, WRX STI. So these are the tools you need. You need a turkey baster, flat screwdriver, a funnel, 11 millimeter wrench, just an empty bottle and some vinyl tubing to catch the uh, brake fluid, a bottle squirter of water, and brake fluid. So I have you know, the genuine Subaru stuff. These are 12 fluid ounce bottles. I got two of them, so 24 ounces, maybe a little more. And uh, we'll get to it. All right, so the first thing you want to do is take off your brake fluid cap, yellow, and then take out this uh, like particle filter that's actually in the mass in the brake cylinder. And then what you need to do is take your turkey baster and just start sucking out all that old brake fluid from the brake cylinder, and then just put it put it into your bottle because this is the old old stuff, and you want to have to pump this through the entire system. Um, make sure to. Be really careful with brake fluid because it's really corrosive. So if you get it on your paint, make sure to uh, wash it off with water or it'll eat right through your paint after a while. All right, so after you've gotten as much of the brake fluid out of the reservoir, it's the reservoir, not a cylinder, um, what you want to do is fill it up with the new brake fluid and make sure there's plenty in there because you're going to pump all the old stuff that's still in there through the system so you get nice clean brake fluid. So Fill this all the way up to the top because you're going to have to refill it a couple of times. Also make sure don't don't let the, the reservoir go all the way down because if you get air into your system you're going to have to start all over because air in the brake system means no good. Right, so what you want to do now is take your flathead screwdriver and pop off the cover that you know covers the brake leader. And then what you want to do is take your 11 millimeter open wrench, put it over the screw, and then put your vinyl tubing over the hole. All right, you ready? Yeah. Here you go. And now what you need to do is have your partner pump the brake, and you're going to open the valve and fluid to come out, and then he's going to keep pumping the brake and fluid will keep coming out until you've got clean fluid. So go. 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 So what you uh, want to do is you want to keep twisting it until the fluid comes out and it looks the same color as the new brake fluid. And that's how you know that your caliper is full of new brake fluid and not old brake fluid. All right, so after you're done, there's going to be brake fluid, brake fluid around the bleeder, so what you want to do is take your bottle of water and squirt everywhere. Make sure you got all the brake fluid off. And then what you should do is you should just take a towel and wipe it off. And then you're good to go. Alright, so make sure after every time you pump one of the calipers, make sure you add more brake fluid to the uh, reservoir because you don't want to be low on brake fluid because like I said before, you don't want to go all the way down because if you get air in the into the brake system, your brakes are basically going to fail. So make sure you have plenty of fluid in at all times. So that's basically it on how to uh, change your brake fluid. Make sure you do it in the correct order. For this car, it happens to be the passenger front, uh, driver rear, and then driver front, and then passenger rear. So in a crisscross um, for your car, Make sure you check your service manual and it'll tell you which sequence to your, your brakes in. Once so you finish all the other tires. Uh, bleeding all the brakes on all the sides, then of course the last thing you want to do is make sure your reservoir is all the way to the max line because you don't want to be low on brake fluid. So just add some more in there until you get to the max line. And then your install is complete.